Hello, crafty friends. I have some card projects that I'm super excited to show you today. They have a very graphic flair to them with just a touch of floral. So I'm going to be using one stamp and die set combo and a bunch of old die cuts from my stash that I want to use up. So let me show you this adorable stamp set from Spellbinders. It's called Bubble Over and it comes with a die set. This die is really neat because it cuts out a slit in the soda pop can for the straws. You can also cut out some bubbles. So let's start out with the coloring. I'm going to show you how I like to color in tin cans or soda pop cans with Copic markers. And of course you can do this in any medium you'd like, but I just thought it'd be fun to play with my Copic markers today. Let's start with just a gray tin can. I'm using some neutral grays and I'm starting with my darkest color first. I believe this is an N4. I'm just making little flick marks along the side of this can. And then I come in with an N2 and just kind of bring it out a little bit more, but this softens it and helps it blend into the white. This side is going to have a thicker shadow than the opposite side. The stamp set is nice because it does have some hatch marks to kind of give you an idea of where to shade it. So let's flip this around and I'll color in a more narrow shadow on this side. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit, but again, I'm starting with the darkest color and then softening it with a lighter color of gray. This would be really fun to do, I think, with colored pencils as well. But I'm shading in the top of the can. And then for the darkest part, I'm using an N7 for the little hole in the tin can. For the next can, I'm going to use more of a color blocking or a striping. I'm using three different colors of gray. And I'm going to make my darkest shadows again at the sides of the tin can, but I'm going to put in another shadow kind of at the right of the can. So it's very simple and easy to do, but yet it looks metallic this way. I'm using the brush nib of my Copic marker. However, on my next set of cards, I'm going to be using the chisel tip. You can use either. I find that I got a straighter line with the chisel tip, but the brush nib is fine too. Just whatever you prefer. So on my second card, I'm going to turn this into a Pepsi can. So I selected a bunch of blues, three different blues. I put the caps up in the corner, but they are kind of cut off. So I will list the colors I used in the description box. So I'm using, again, the darkest colors at the edge of the can, and then I'm putting another dark color right down the center of the can. And then I'm blending it out with a really light blue. I'm going to extend the dark color just a little bit more. And then I can color in the bottom of the can and the top with the same grays, the neutral tones. Okay, let's do another blue one. I think Pepsi is my favorite soda, <laughs> so I liked the blue colors. And for this one, I'm going to do two dark stripes at either side for the shadows. I'll extend it with a little bit of a lighter blue, and then in the center, I'm putting down my lightest blue. I think I like this can the best out of the two blues. Then, of course, we'll color in the top of the can and the bottom with grays. On this first blue can, I'm just adding a little more of a dark color along the edges, just to give it a little more contrast. And if you put enough ink down, it won't look so streaky. It will blend within the fibers of the paper and it'll look really nice. I'm pulling out a white gel pen to add some highlights, and I should have done this after I stamped the sentiments on the bottles, but that's all right. Okay, let's do a Dr. Pepper can next. I have a deep red that I'll be using at the edges of the can. I'm going to put a shadow stripe kind of at the side. And then this time I'm using the chisel tip. You don't want to press too hard or it'll go kind of jerky for you. You can see it there. It's kind of uneven. And if you move more swift, you get straighter lines as well. And then I didn't bring it all the way up to the top and I'm just using my brush nib to 
color that in so I don't go outside of the lines. I'm putting more ink down just to give it a chance to blend. Okay, let's do an orange soda pop. Again, I'm using the chisel tip. I'm using three different colors of orange, and then for the lightest highlight, we'll put that kind of in the middle, more to the right. And I can clean up my edges with the brush tip. I'll go in with the dark color again, just to add a little more contrast. Okay, next we're going to do a grape soda. So I'm putting down a really deep purple. I'll use my middle color kind of there on the side, and then my lightest color at the edge and in between the darkest and the medium color. And I'll clean up my edges again. My last one is going to be red. And on this one, I'm putting the darkest shadows at the edges. And then I'll come in with a medium tone. I had to use the brush nib for that particular Copic marker because I need to refill it. And then my lightest color will go kind of at the center. And I'm just adding a lot of ink so it will blend together very nicely. Okay, those are all done. I let them dry before I started my stamping here. I'm just going to show you one stamping, but I'm putting the bubble over sentiment. It says, may your day bubble over with happiness. And I'm using some dark pink ink for this. Uh, it is a Memento teardrop ink. And I wanted it nice and dark, so I did stamp it a few times. And here they all are. Most of them I stamped out. Some of them I left plain, but I used VersaFine Onyx Black ink, and then I used clear VersaMark ink on some of them with some white embossing powder, and then even some green ink on my lime soda. And now I'm going to stamp out the straw and a bunch of the sentiments and just have them ready to go so I can just sit down and play and put together this set of seven cards. So you can use this particular die here to cut out the stamped images, or you can use the smaller one and you don't have to stamp on it. It's just more of a narrow straw. On each card, I'm going to use a color that coordinates with the color of the soda pop, as well as a piece of brushed silver cardstock. Now, all of them are going to be slightly different, and I'm starting with this orange crush one. These are little bags of old die cuts that I've had in my stash for a long time. I just keep adding to them. And I thought it would be fun to pull these out because the cards looked a little plain and they just needed a touch of something else. So a lot of these are going to have flowers and leaves to decorate the tin can a little bit. It was super fun just to paw through all of these pieces and figure out what looked best. And I loved that I could put this stuff to good use and not waste it. So I'm going to stamp out some bubbles, or these are more of the, what would you call these? The carbonated water sparks coming out of the straw. And now I can add some white gel pen details on the soda pop can. Lately, I've been using this gel pen and it just flows perfectly. It is called, let's see, I have it right here called a Uniball Signo pen. It's, it's fabulous. And I'm just putting little lines and dashes along the side of the soda pop can. And here is a close-up look at the first one. Now I am going to speed up this video considerably because this did take a while and it's kind of fun to see the process. Again, each card is a little bit different and I'm using different sh shapes on each card. This one's going to have this pretty circle out of brushed silver cardstock and then a smaller one out of some hot pink. I'm gluing the circles down flat with a little bit of liquid glue and all of the soda pop cans I'm going to pop up with foam squares just to add some fun dimension. I put the straw in the little slit at the top and I'm holding that down with a foam square as well. And then on this card and all of the rest of them, I'm going to color in the straws using the soda color. This one's pink soda. And I unfortunately, I stamped these out with VersaFine Onyx Black ink, which is not a Copic friendly ink. So I'm just being very keep careful not to touch the edges of my stamped image. On this one, I'm adding another sentiment that says you're the coolest. And then I'll add this little pink flower over that. 
and I'll pop this up with a foam square as well to give it even a little more dimension. But these foam squares are pretty flat that I have in my stash. Let's add a little leaf behind this flower as well. I'm going to cut this down. And then just add a little bit of glue and gently peel up the foam square and stick it underneath. I used the bubble stamp again and I added some pink gems inside each of the bubbles. And here's a close-up look. Okay, this is where I'm going to speed up the video. I'm going to do the Pepsi can next. You can jump to the end if you'd like where I show you in regular time <laughs> each card and how it turned out. But I am going to play a little bit of music for you in the background and just show you this complete process. There was a point where my camera stopped, so I, I missed a little bit of footage, but not much. But I have so many die cut pieces that I've saved over the past year, and it was fun just putting them to good use. They've been in my drawer, and I add to it every time I have leftover die cut pieces. So I encourage you to try to use up to save. First of all, to save your die cut pieces and then to use them up on a set of cards. And this is probably the messiest you've ever seen my desk. I like to keep my work mat pretty clear when I'm designing the cards. Of course, around the edges, what you don't see, it can get pretty messy anyway, but it was a pretty mess. So I'll catch you up at the end. Okay, and here are all of the cards all done. And I'll show you each one of these. I, loved the, I love the clean graphic style of these cards with just a little touch of a floral element. I liked this one with the lemons really well. It went good with the uh, lime theme. And then I think this Coca-Cola looking can is my favorite. And I put a thank you sentiment down at the bottom. I love the red and the green together. The Dr. Pepper card is really cute. I love that bright white flower. And then here again is the grape soda. It's fun putting little gems on them too.
I used a lot of metallic silver gems on these cards. And then here is the strawberry soda pop can. This is a super fun set and I'm glad to have it in my stash. I think it would be fun to send out cards using the recipient's favorite type of soda pop. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I'll leave the links to all of the products I used in the description box if you're interested in checking out the Starling stamp set and coordinating die. Well, I hope your day bubbles over with happiness, my friends, and have fun, sit down and craft a little bit if you can, and I'll be back soon with another video. Take care, bye.